As you can see, I haven't quite got my banner behind me or anything because we had a massive event here today. It was the Mrs. South Africa finalist, um, one, one of their events. And um, they, <laughs> they, well, they had me quite busy and everything's been cleaned up. I don't even know where my desk is. I don't even know where my things are. So um, just for how it is. And in any case, welcome to um, a really, really, really wonderful evening today. Um, I'm going to run it because Daisy is preparing for Monday's workshop, the shadow workshop. I hope you've all joined in. If you haven't, I'm going to go through that just now with you as well. But I thought just while we wait for a couple of people to come in, I've got quite a nice video here just to set the scene. So just enjoy it for a little while. Okay, that was just a bit of fun just to get going and to get into the spirit of things. Um, as you know, we've been heading this way and 
um, for a while. And it's going to be, I hope, quite a, um, a breath of fresh air coming out of the end of Kali Yuga as we move into the Sata Yuga period. And, and just to say, I'm going to be talking a bit more about this um, a little bit later on, but it's, it's equivalent to moving from the Middle Ages into the Renaissance, which happened 800 years ago when the planets lined up. And, um, you know, this was the, the whole new breath, the whole new excitement, the new everything, and the getting really rid of the old. So um, we're doing that and we're preparing ourselves for the, the shadow workshop on Monday, the 21st. And I'll tell you how to join in for that if you haven't already done that. So, um, yes, uh, we are moving and we're moving generally as well into the, the more of the fifth dimensional space, um, which is a space without fear, where it's more, uh, we more have more courage and more focus and um um, more, more at peace. We're not worrying about the trivialities. We've surrendered. And so many of us who use our devices um, on a regular basis, um, you see so many times it comes up, release the struggle. I, I think every second time, often every time, telling us all to release the struggle, to let go. So um, I hope you take heed of that as well when you are also assessing pe people. Um, I've prepared some slides, which let me just show them to you. So this is just a gentle, gentle, gentle space this evening. So here we have our um, our normal um, uh, global quantum cleanse, and this started in March, which you know, and um, we've had a pretty, 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 pretty um, good innings on all of this. So just from March until now, um, we've had the the lecture series, which has gone on. This, this many months, um, we're basically in the ninth month, ninth month. It's insane to think that this has happened actually so quickly. And we've kept together as a group. And that was one of the things that, um, you know, Daisy also liked about this is that we were moving together and keeping ourselves supported over this. And we did it. We actually did it. I'm not saying the bumpy road is over, but we did do it. We definitely we definitely moved through. So we had lecture series. Um, we've had the Raising Humanity's Immunity to COVID, where the quantum therapists have worked with everyone else in our group and the consciousness of the planet and everybody else, all the other light workers, if you like, um, working together to raise the immunity to COVID. And, um, you know, DESI stats are showing that us that um, the death rate has decreased. So, um, that's very good from 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 my point of view on my device i've seen huge shifts and breakthroughs and and moving forward too so you know what in our way we've contributed i think magnificently so um we've we've i've just run a series now awakening to the new golden age the golden age being aquarius and um, just in support of our health, our homes, our food, and our businesses, and look, just looking at a wide variety of things, um, to literally from um, DNA fragments to um, to where we're going to be moving to um, labyrinths, to stone carvings, to fermented foods, anything to do with health our health, our home, our food, and our businesses. So that ended on the 16th of December, and then we brought in the turning point events, and there's, there's four of them. I, um, it was on Thursday, Friday, today, Saturday, and Sunday, and this is really leading us straight into the um, the, the shadow workshop. On, on the December the 21st, which is the literally the – when the moon, the moon is in the seventh house, as you've just heard. So so that was great. Um, and I see Desi wants to come through. I'm not sure she's... Oh, she is here. Hello, Desi. I'm just doing a small introduction, and then we can hand over to you. Um, so, and oh, then I'm going to... I, I just want to say a couple of words. So, Me too. Uh, we are still working on the shadow workshop. Uh, so I just want to say a couple of words, so just tell me when. But I don't have too much time, so... All right. So, well, I'm just finishing this introduction sheet, which will be half a minute, not even. So this is what we, what I'm going to just be going through today. I'm going to be summarizing the whole nine months of everything we've done. And then just from the turning point point of view in the age of Aquarius, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit about business and moving from lo local to global. So Desi, welcome. Hello, Rita. 
Hello, good evening. Hi, I'm hi. Please I'm come in. We're wanting to hear the next installment, please, on the shadow yeah. workshop. Well, I've been working feverishly to finish it. I'm almost done. And it's going to be big, bad, and beautiful. It might be too much for somebody to do it all at one time. That's why it's going to be uh, recorded in such a way that they could uh, pause and watch it later, etc. There's a lot to do, but this is very experiential. It's going to be really cool with all different types of images and frequencies. And it's going to be, uh, you're going to love it. Uh, so, uh, but I'm, I'll be finishing it tomorrow and I'll be ready by Monday. And we are also going to introduce all the steps, how to understand it, how to translate the meaning of the, the shadow, how to use this workshop for several and very, very comprehensive. It really will help anybody to really grow uh, because in order to understand the light, you have to understand the dark and it's just that simple. Uh, so, I started to work on my shadow now, now dramatically uh, intense, and I can feel a little anxiety feelings, a little bit of inside tension, but the, that can be, some people don't have any, some people have bigger ones, so this is something what you really uh, have to do focus and sometimes just take smaller steps so you don't hurt your, your, your emotions, you don't scare yourself too much. But I think as soon as we understand and translate the message of our shadow and our darkness, we are going to be able to handle it and we're going to be able to have a lot better life. Yeah, everybody, uh, every time you see anything that you're afraid of, anything spooky, whatever, it goes into your deeper unconscious and your unconscious shields you from it. And this forms your shadow. And then it... Uh, then it, but if you don't really deal with your shadow, sometimes the shadow can step up and take over your life and ruin your life. So it's a very powerful, powerful workshop. Uh, and it's, it's going to be at that time of the longest, longest night. Yeah, the most amount of darkness. The source is evening. That's so going to be really powerful. And I'll let you get back to what you're doing. And then everybody recognize that what this this workshop is completely confidential. So you can work on it at home completely confidentially as you encounter these feelings and emotions. You don't have to share them. If you want to, we'll be there, but you don't have to. And they can hit pause if they become overwhelmed at any time and then work on it later because that's how it's going to be made. And okay. my, uh, my suggestion to you, Jane, that I think we, are, we should uh, have a Facebook group for everybody who, who is attending it as you create an event on Facebook. So people can actually sign up to the group, ask their questions, if they need us to explain something, the vision comes up, or an imaginary, what they cannot translate, how to connect, what to do, if they cannot calm their emotions, what kind of music they can listen to. If they get into crisis mode, yeah. uh, we'll be there. If they need to talk out something, what comes up. I'm a, tra I'm a trained psychiatrist, I think. <laughs> that's, okay. I think that's... Excellent, excellent, excellent idea. And then also with the webinar, we can set up some uh, breakaway groups as well. You can have breakaway meetings as far as I know. I'll just check up exactly on that. Okay. And then, read, yes, and then um, w when you've registered, you get the link for the, for the shadow workshop. Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to be something that's just going to be advertised everywhere those people who've registered those people who've paid will get the link they will get the um the the the, the group link as well I'm gonna, ask, and then, I'm gonna ask them not to share the link i will change the link later i will not change the link until january 1st uh i'll let them have it and then after that the link will be gone but i just don't yeah. want people to you know to be uh you know cheating because uh, some people are going to be putting down some cash into this, and we want them to understand this is a this, this is a, a a charge thing, and people you know can address the issue of karma payment if they wish, uh, but still we don't want people to just steal it and pass it on. Okay? No, Somebody? not at all. That's no. exactly right. So you'll you'll get the. Um Uh, Paul Rand is asking you, are you going to be working with the quantum device at the same time? 
uh, it's this you can if you want to turn on your quantum device, but uh, this shadow workshop is, is it's, it's, it's actually independent of that. But if you turn on your device and work with it, it will intensify the experience. And it can also provide a better and a, a stronger psychic protection for the workshop. Yeah, so it is it is a good idea to do it's that. It's a very good idea. Thanks, Foran. It's not mandatory. Yeah, Not mandatory, of course, because people will be joining who don't even have the device. But um, what will you have yours on? Um, yeah, we'll have ours on. Yeah, we'll have yours on. Okay, awesome. That's very good. So everybody will be protected in the field. And um, the protection, there's the protection prayers are built into the program. There's one part of the program where actually I have people to protect them, themselves. And the protection prayers. Uh, are built into the actual uh, video. So uh, it, it, this is a very serious thing, and uh, it, it can very well be a very simple thing, very positive experience. Uh, you don't have to be afraid, but there will be times that, that things will come out that will be a little scary. Yeah, and they, they some be, people won't, won't be able to handle it. If they need help, but that's what we're here for. Desiree and I just uh, had a deep conversation about what can come up, what is scary. Some people have extreme sexual, perverse ideas, sexual feelings. Sometimes they have anger issues, hatred issues, those things. But then the reason they have them is because they haven't managed their shadow. And it's shielded up. And, it's, and All of those will be dispersed if you do this right. And sometimes all these anger and argument issues come off and explode because people never release and accept and uh, and let go of all these because they don't even understand that they are present and there inside. So we'll talk to you. We'll see you on Monday, okay? Dizzy, is there any preparation you'd like us to do? Uh, you should get try to get a good night's sleep the night before and then uh, no basically... Alcohol. No alcohol is a good thing. Uh, then basically just come to it with an awareness. Uh, Andras, I don't know if they can get them in time. I asked Andras to share that with Jane. I don't yeah, know Andras created special uh, supplements for but it's, it's, that's not needed. Increasing the major alcohol. thing is come with an open mind, follow the instructions, listen, okay. let's pray. All right. So we'll start at um, 7 o'clock South African time, which is 6 o'clock your time on Monday night. Yep. Okay. And then, um, do you have any idea for how long it will run? Three hours. Three hours about. Okay, perfect. So that answers some people there. Well, it's going to be over to us. You've you provided a, the, the most awesome, awesome workshop. And thank you for that. And well, it's you really going to... You really want it. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, <laughs> and then after that, I offer an extra another hour. Uh, we will be here uh, for people to answer questions, resolve issues. Yeah. And we will keep an eye on the chat line, so anybody who has trouble. Let's yeah. keep the chat line open. I think what I'll do is I'll just edit it for, for 24 hours, so it can run on uh, indefinitely for 24 hours. Okay. And then, not, not that we're going to man it, but people can write in the chat. But remember also, we're going to have our own private group. Right, right. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I just, I just want to pick up on one of Daisy's points. So those people who feel that the the affordability of the 150 euros is a bit steep, um, please speak to Rita or myself, and we can look at uh, a payment in karma. And many people have said, "Well, Jane, what's car what? How do you pay in karma? How does this work?" So from from Daisy's point of view, she's always done this as well. What good are you going to do? So what good are you going to do that's going to be paying paying her back indirectly, all right? Paying pa paying back. So it would be there could be a number of things. It could be working with um with 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 children, orphanage children. It could be working in a hospital over Christmas, the Christmas New Year period. It could be um um taking clothes collecting clothes from a whole lot of people and going ha and handing them out handing blankets out it could be doing um complementary assessments complementary scans it could be complementary counseling um working at any one of these these call centers whatever you consider um giving back from a karmic point of view will then justify 
or be justified by Daisy Reed and myself, and you, you will get a registration link for that. So, um, you know, we've made it possible that actually everybody can join this um, event. Please do not be reserved about this. Um, even when, when Daisy sells the device, so she says, come to me with the karmic payment. We can work it this way and that way. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody comes to her and, and with a karmic option. Not anyone. They just say it's too expensive. I can't buy it. So I'm just really appealing to you to expand your mind because at some stage, someone will pay you in karma. Okay. And then you'll understand. So these people that want um, reduced um fees for your consultations you said all right fine well you know how are you going to make up the rest in karma because that is a payment to you in the end of the day so you see we need to start working this we, we're entering into the age of aquarius now and it's really exciting and it's really about this kind of thing and you know you can you you can't take your money in the bank with you when you leave but you do take your karma with you you take your karma comic wallet if you like okay it's either in debt or it's in credit so I hope I've explained that a little bit more easily. And all you need to do is just WhatsApp text me or Rita and um, and we can we can get it, we can get things sorted out for you. Let me type carefully when I type this. Here we go. There's there's my number on there. Oops. Must include, oh, sorry, I'm right, I'm not in, not writing in the chat. Here we go. Another check. All right. Uh, no, nearly right. Okay, so that's, that's my number and you can just text me on that. And if you're also battling to register and pay, please text me on that as well. Um, it would be nice to for Desi to receive something, I think, after these nine months of actually having, on a Saturday evening, by the way, you know, um, given up her time and pre to prepare, first of all, and then to be with us and to have shared such an enormous amount of information um, so that would that would be good too. I think that would be amazing. I'm very pleased you came in. I think we 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 in gear. Um, from my side, I have let the staff off, um, and I'm literally by myself for three days, which, quite frankly, I can't wait for. <laughs> so from tonight, I'm literally am preparing. I'm putting myself on my device again, and I'm I'm going to be talking to myself and um, preparing myself in a big way because the more we do this work the easier the future will be for us the more we can let go of the past the negativity the wrong patterns and out of this chaos of this year allow repatterning to occur for ourselves reordering um you know the higher ascension the higher our vibration um the, the, the deeper we'll, we'll get to to living our purposes and things like that and the more we'll be able to heal people so it's just just really, really a good good win-win on every level. And I think we're in for a massive treat indeed. So let's just get back to these slides. And um, what I was busy saying, it was always got to work with Desi's time, which is fine. So we did the immune lectures. We've done the raising human humanity's immunity to COVID. I use it COVID in the broader sense. And boy, oh boy, has Pluto managed to reveal the dark, the underworld. Oh, yes, Pluto has done that. So we're talking about Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto right now. And the interplay between Saturn and Jupiter. Saturn is rigid structures. Jupiter is expensive and jupiter's made sure that the crystalline walls have fallen down it's been marvelous actually if you could if you stood back and witnessed what's happened it's been absolutely amazing i'm not saying it's over either but astrologically in alignment right now um we have the moons in alignment and that's just the best so we prepared with the awakening to the new golden age events and we've, uh, we, we're right now in the, in, in the fourth turning point event of the, of the year, the shadow workshop we talked about. And then just now I'm going to talk a little bit about, about business local to global in, in the new economies and the new golden age, really. 
So we've covered the 30, the 37 lectures with the with the immune series and more, by the way, because there's been way more than 37 lectures. And we've also received a huge amount of electroceuticals from, from Desi. And you know, I'm I'm very um very pure when it comes to this. I, I don't want to just listen to anyone's DNA, 528 megahertz. I don't believe any of it. I I, I need to, to use the, the device and I need to use what Desi sends out because she's looked at it. And um, you know, just now you listen to a distorted view. It can be just one instead of 442, it can be 441 or 440, and you wouldn't know. And I just know, I just uh, honor myself too much. So I'm only go I only listen to things that come from her. And if you've got other sources of, of um, you know, music and, and electroceuticals and things, by all means, um, let me know. Um, but, um, you know, from my point of view, I want to make sure that I, I, I'm listening to the right stuff. There's just been way too much um, deception. In fact, probably 99% is, is, is deception. So let's let's stay really close on 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 that part. But we've been given these electroceuticals, but also for diseases because sound is an amazing and it's new um, technology to heal. And if you think about it, we're entering into kind of we're entering into that very high highly intellectual space of um, like in, in the Egyptian times when they where they actually possibly believe they used sound to lift those rocks up. So we are definitely moving into an, an amazing new field of medicine with our quantum devices and sound, and there's also light. Right, and then let's see the next one. All right, so this was my awakening series, and um, the recordings are on YouTube. There's a couple that aren't there because, well, four of them were taken down. So, um, hard what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt any more coming down, that's for sure. All right, and then we moved on December, December the 17th to the turning point. It is a major turning point, whether we like it or not. This is a major, 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 major turning point. And it's not going to be like um, um, 2000 and 2012, where you sort of felt and sort of believed something was happening and maybe there were definitive things happening. This is, this we will notice it and it's already happening. So I think honor yourself. Um, and give yourself the time now to really work through the start preparing for, for Monday. It will go on into Tuesday and Wednesday because when it's a solstice like this, it's always like that. And the detox is huge. The earth detox goes through detoxification phase. Every solstice and equinox on the 21st, that, that happens leading up to it and then into, um, you know, a couple of days afterwards as well. So, um, yeah, use this time just to maximize for for you know the most the most benevolent ascension for yourself and your fair family and friends and everybody. And and I would say we need to be encouraging people to come and join us because the more of us that can ascend on a higher level, higher vibration, the higher the collective vibration of the earth is. And I believe right now the earth needs as many of us as possible. And we, we will. And I posted quite a nice song um, on our group in the week um, by Crowded House. And that was a lot about freedom. So that was a good one. And then, you, you know, you heard the lyrics to the Age of Aquarius as well. Let the sun shine. It's, it's going to be amazing. I'm telling you. And then, so that was that one. And then... So tonight and tomorrow, and then uh, Monday's the um, our shadow workshop, which we have here. And there's the payment, and there's the link. You go onto the website, and you will see the exactly this poster. You click on it, you make your payment, and you and you out. All right. And those people that are paying in karma, speak to me, and I uh, will work a plan for you. Beautiful. Right, and Desi's explained. I don't need to speak any more about that. So I just wanted to give a couple of um, couple of speakers a short couple of minutes on on the age of Aquarius. I'm sure a lot of you have already um, read up. I'm sure you've got books. I know I bought the age of Aquarius book a really, really, really long time ago. 
So I've also been looking forward to the letting go of the, the Kali Yuga, the materialism, um, the lies, the deception, and flip everything we've just lived through because, sure, it's been tough. And, um, you know, thank goodness for Pluto coming in and revealing all this dark, the underworld. Pluto is the underworld. All right, remember, Jupiter is the breaking, smashing of everything. And then Saturn is that crystalline structure that's got smashed. And um, so new things, guys, new things, new things, new things on that horizon for sure. And we're moving into the Saturn Yuga, which is, is the age of Aquarius, which is um, IT, but for a, from a beneficial point of view. So even free energy, we've got things that are going to benefit humanity. All right, as opposed to having, <coughs> as opposed to having spies spying in on us, <coughs> that's going to all change and shift. It already is shifting and changing. So it's going to be using technology really to the best of our ability. Um, and it's the age of intellectualism, actually. And that's why I'm saying I think we, we're going to become more, more clever, more supreme, supremely clever beings. And um, and I look forward to that. And I'll talk about it a little bit more in a moment. Um, so more more humanitarian orientated. And that's going to have huge effects for the businesses that you run and the economy and um, yeah, and, and bringing nature in as well is very going to be very important. We need to work in the quantum space in the age of Aquarius. Okay, the interconnectedness of the soil, the nature, the animals, ourselves, and the cosmos. It's very much um, in the quantum space. We are extremely lucky um, to not only have our devices, but to be, be right here right now. We are extremely lucky. Um, the age of objectivity, exactly what our device is all about. All right, we can validate and verify what we're doing. And the, the humanity now requires this. What you measure is real. What you can't measure, is, it's a belief. And that belongs in the Piscean, Kali Yuga age, and it's, that's finished. So um, I'm very pleased about that too, because I'm a huge pragmatist. And um, I like my feet on the ground, and I like to know what I'm measuring and what I'm doing. So um, the next point there is, is, is localized to globalized. And, um, you know, what that really means is, is that um, it's a bit of a shift because what we've had up until now is we've had these huge mega corporates, all right, that have dictated, that have not been hu totally humanitarian, humanity orientated at all, have not been nature orientated, have polluted. We have environmental toxins on a level we've never known before. Never mind chemical toxins, never mind pesticides, fertilizers, never mind genetically modified. So it has never, ever been this bad before. And we've, we've been the experiment. And now we even have the GMO fragments, DNA fragment, genetic fragments. So um, the, this, this is the, 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 end, the ending of this kind of an era and moving more to the more holistic, natural, nature-made space. So there's huge room for localized businesses. Um, I was doing the presentation earlier today and it was the, the beauty finalists. So I thought it was quite appropriate to talk about um, skin and makeup and you know what the ancients, the truths of the ancient times and the modern truths and, and where the, the synergy was. And I used Cleopatra because she's very well known and she also comes from very brilliant age, the age of the Egyptian age. And Although being beautiful and all of that, she was a very, very strong woman and, you know, actually, you know, side by side went with um, Alexander and so on into the wars. So very interesting because she used things that were readily available, the clay, the coal, the, the oils from the fields, um, the salt from the Dead Sea, um, the pigments from in the nature as well, the, the moringas, the baobabs, the sesames, the castor oils, that's what sh sh they use, they used on their skin. And if you look at the Hansa tribe in, in Asia, there's a, a very protected tribe called the Hansas. And those ladies put um, apricot kernel oil 
on their on their skin protection from the sun protection from the harsh very high climate and wrinkling and i don't know if you've ever smelt apricot kernel oil it is unbelievably amazing you don't even need an essential oil to go with it it just has the most beautiful pure exquisite smell about it so um in the localized space um we 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 we, we can have access to, to local stuff. We can grow locally. We can grow the herbs locally. You see, we don't have to wait for huge ships to arrive and aeroplanes to arrive with, with everything from all over the world with huge carbon footprint and have things, everything have to get assayed and tested and over tested and over everything and by the time you've done all of that the the dna of the plant's not there anymore the intelligence is not intact anymore and when it, the body receives it the innate potential potential of the body to heal doesn't kick in because it says hey what's this this is a toxin i need to go and fight what you've just put inside me it's bordering now on synthetic um it's been genetically modified in a lab or whatever the case is we've got to get over that in the age of aquarius it's not going to be like that so massive massive opportunities for localized businesses on all levels health home food business and i found that quite exciting because then things can 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 grow and uh, become more more uh, less less local and a little bit more global from there but we're coming from this natural standpoint that's what i see is a massive massive opportunity um and you, you know you know from my point of view i mean i've been sustainable virtually 100 percent for the last well I, I would say 17 years but i started 23 years ago with my forests every single tree in my properties got medicinal properties every single one of them and i put that in long ago and um it's a sustainable garden. It's a sustainable forest. So the, the new generation of forests just grows. And we've now doubled our, our, our vegetable garden size and our berries and our fruit trees and our nuts. And we use biodynamic farming for that. So um, I'm really going for it now so that we have a really large mass of, of organic biodynamic food and composting and everything and actually i've turned my center into an eco educational center now it's a health center of course but actually eco educational where people are coming in and learning they're walking the pathways they they're watching um watching us make the compost watching us plant you know picking up the essence and i'm finding there's such a demand and there's a big draw people are calling me and saying jan i'm digging up my grass i don't want grass anymore i want vegetables like the Italian, uh, uh, Italians I saw on um, Scopolos, you know, and I mean, it's all around in any case. And they, they, their veranda overlooks the, their tomatoes. It overlooks their grapes. And they're interacting with their food all the time on a dynamic, energetic level. Instead of putting the, the vegetable patch at the back near the, near, the, near the dustbins and right over there, you know, we're bringing it forward into into our everyday living in our space. So really, really nice stuff like that and big, big opportunities for localized businesses and, and, and community development. That's 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 what I'm seeing. And then then the opportunities for, for proper global work will kick in um, and not the other way around. And where it's driven, driven by humans not driven by um, share prices that are manipulated and stocks that are man manipulated and insider trading and everything else that goes with that, which has just been part of the whole deception. Manipulated deception. There's no other word for it. So moving on to money here, I mean, you know, we can look at all sorts of aspects of Fiat money, which is our normal currency money, um, we know that the dollar, I think who, I've got to remember exactly who it was, but took the dollar off the gold standard in the 1900s or whatever. And the minute that happened, well, we've just, just got lots of inflation and um, the dollar just floats, as, as just about all the other currencies too, excepting, excepting the countries that have gold because they can always back their currency with gold. They can just go and mine some more. So I'm thinking Australia, South Africa, Russia, etc. 
So that's a big danger, and we know that. We know that, that there's big problems there. Um, and the stocks I've talked about, um, there's always gold and silver. Those are always um, hard um, metals, which have got um, a value. Whether we're going to go back to the gold standard or or not remains to be seen. Um, I know many people buying gold and silver. Silver, you can break it down a little bit more, and you can do a little bit more with it in terms of um, manufacturing and doing things with it. Um, whereas gold, not so much. But anyway, um, people are, are are hedging their risks and things with gold. So just I just put that through, and then I see one of my words is missed. I've, I've also put Bitcoin in there because if anybody's been following finances right now, my word, um, it's it's on the blockchain. And um, yes, you can also argue that it's, it's currently been set up by them. Um, but nevertheless, it's outperforming everything. It's really, really, really amazing. So, but you've got to know what you're doing, and 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 don't get, don't get caught in all these scams. There's hundreds of them. Go for a company, an existing company, that offers you um, growth in in cryptocurrency. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's too many com companies that want your money and then you've got to recruit another 10 or 20 people underneath you take their money and everyone is taking everyone else's money. That is absolutely not the age of Aquarius. That is still straight old paradigm. If you want to know more, text me and we can, we can talk about it. But we've got to get into companies that are doing things now that are in support of the age of Aquarius. Okay, The IT companies that are in support, the humanitarian companies, et cetera, et cetera that are in support of the, the qualities and the characteristics, right? And then go back and say, well, is it in a fiat currency, a Bitcoin, cr cryptocurrency, or whatever the currency is? How, then you work that out. That would that would be, be my suggestion. And then you might ask yourself, okay, well, when we, we're moving into this new space now, you know, what are the new skills that are going to be required? Because um, maybe the old paradigm way of practicing law, or the old paradigm way of practicing medicine, um, you know, is going to be falling away. And as Desi always says, would you go to an accountant who doesn't have a computer software program? No, you wouldn't. So, um, you know, you need to think about that insofar as the GP practice and everything, everywhere else that, you know, is not really, doesn't have the tech up to date with them to work with them and to take advantage of information technology. We just have to because it can do so much more than, than we can do in such a small, much smaller, smaller space of time. So what skills are going to be required? And these are the things I've been asking and suggesting on my awakening series and now as well. Um, you know, again, getting back to your passion in this new place, because we can just, we can create our new space. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, some of the ladies that were talking this morning, very bright ladies, 13 years in corporate, um, lots of money, absolutely blessed, but terribly unhappy and feeling guilty that they were unhappy, waiting, waking up at four in the morning crying didn't want to go to work, didn't want that space, even though they had everything, felt guilty, clinically diagnosed with depression. Until eventually their soul was trying to pull them out of this place and put them into a new place. Eventually they resigned and got into the new place, which was about growing biodynamical vegetables, studying nutrition, serving humanity. Suddenly depression out of the window, the body recovered because the body suffers when you have depression and the health returned happiness returned the family life returned simply because they were in the right space they were they were then following their calling they were doing their purpose unfoldment of the dna the activation of the dna okay so you can take uh, tomorrow and monday uh tonight to, today tomorrow monday and and really have a rethink and be honest with yourself I think that's the most important thing. And then see what sort of skills you might need um, going forward. And so very, very exciting. And then from a health point of view as well, I think the writing's on the wall anyway. Many people have left big cities. Many people have bought farms. Um, I'm not suggesting everyone does this, by the way. I'm saying they have. Uh, many people, many people are eating healthily. 
um, after lockdown. Not everyone, but many have. Many have lightened up, many have read the books. And you can tell by the quality of the conversation when your clients come and see you. Um, so we are looking at a much higher level of health, a re regaining of health, as opposed to this terrible, um, you know, destruction in our health and all these terrible chronic diseases and, and one in two people being on, you know, at least two or three um, prescribed medications with clinically diagnosed diseases and, and it escalating and escalating. That's got to go. I mean, it's not so, has not served us in the, in the recent past and it's not going to. So luckily for us, we're in the quantum space. We can measure, it's objective. Um, we can actually um, cause a shift in somebody in one hour, measurable, and uh, potentiated with good products. And, um, and we can, the people that we assist can become the teachers of the next, the next tier, who can become the teachers of the next tier. And I think if we can establish that, then, then you as a node start growing and everybody else's node starts growing and become, become more and more aware. And people are getting back into nature, as I said, and, and you know, reacquainting with the earth, with the sun, with uh, breathing, uh, with water and, um, you know, health food. And then the health of our homes and the space and the decluttering and, um, you know, the respect for garden and nature and, and growing the vegetables out there. So, so important. Um, I think our clothing as well. Um, you know, you can see what synthetic clothing has done to our health. Even on our devices, there's a code there that says... Um, the, 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 the little fibers, the, the synthetic fibers from the cloth, the clothing, I call it plastic clothing, you know, have gone into the skin. And if the, it's a toxic level, it's actually shown in the matrix. So we've gone the whole route. We've gone that complete adulterated route, I think, on everything, okay, including plastic clothing. And it doesn't let the body breathe. And... Um, so we're going to be, be, yeah, we're going to be probably reconsidering on that level as well. And let's see. And you can create what you need to create, by the way. And if you're thinking of localized, well, then start. Start doing it. Um, and then food I've spoken about a little bit as well. But um, I think we're going to be eating um, much more of the higher vibrational foods um, and less food, but more on the high vibration. I think... You know, those days of huge, big Sunday lunches and all this processed food. I mean, I'm just watching all these synthetic outlets close. The chains, the franchises, they're just all closing. So they're closing, obviously, because of lockdown. But I think people are now realizing, you know, the importance of preparing food at home and healthy food, which is great. And then you can think of travel in the age of Aquarius as well, because, you know, it might be a little bit different. We may not travel so much initially, but, um, you know, maybe there's going to be a whole new form of, of travel, a whole new form of air travel, maybe. But we can create it, and maybe that's a business for, for people to look at. And then from a work and, and a point of view um, and bringing nature into the areas where we work, I see the buildings will have, be a lot more green and um, the work will be far more humanity humanity driven, um, you know, as opposed to the big corporates that have not really taken cognizance at all of humanity, not really cared if you're in the right job fit, um, you know, not really cared if you, you're, yeah, you're unhappy in what you're doing and, um, you know, literally, you know, work people to, to death, um, all for the sake of, of stocks and share prices. So that that's not going to be part of the age of Aquarius at all. And I think that's great because it will be leveling the playing field between um, employer, employee, but also the sharing of the stake. And I think that's very important as well. So that everybody feels part of, the future. So if you're in a business right now, I think the good thing would be to to start restructuring it because those businesses that aren't, that don't work with the energy are going to struggle. And especially if you are um, not in an authentic business and, and, and marketing without authenticity because you will not 
succeed. It's not going to happen. I don't believe the energy will allow that. So, um, you know, very important, I think, to, to be very real with everything that we do, real in the marketing, real in the production. Um, the, the, the deception of hiding toxins in, in the labeling of food. And I mean, I, I learned this when I studied pharmacy, which was ages ago, <laughs> early eight, 1980s, where they showed us that um, if a toxin or anything actually, any ingredient is below a certain percentage, they didn't have to reveal it on, on the package insert. So if the genetically modified aspect is below a certain percentage, they don't have to tell you it's genetically modified, by the way. They don't have to tell you that there's um, sodium lauryl sulfate in the product. They don't have to tell you there's formaldehyde um, and so on and so on and so on. They don't have to tell you that there's modified sugar or whatever it might be. So those days are over. Those products, they're not going, they won't be able to succeed those companies. It's not going to happen because the way people have wised up in the last six months has been incredible. It has just been a quantum leaps, quantum, quantum leaps. And thanks to technology, by the way. So I just wanted to share, you know, shed a little bit of light on, um, on, on, on that aspect. Um, these are these aspects that um, I think are important at this critical turning point. And we can reshape, recreate, redo um, our entire space right now. And um, it's, yeah, it's very heartening and very enlightening to see so many people, you know, just advancing at this pace. And um, the more we can help educate others, I think is phenomenal. And, um, you know, that's why I look at, let's look at this, this shadow workshop completely objectively. And, um, you know, again, if the affordability is not in your space right now, then you can speak to me about the karma aspect. And, um, you know, the more people that can come in, it's just going to strengthen it, strengthen the energy and, um, we'll have lots of, lots of time to process and, um, and get to a really good space. All right, that's that's uh, that's all. I'm not sure if uh, Annette wants to come in and say anything, but I have opened the door for her. She put her hand up. I don't know if she knows that she did, but anyway, that's that. And then just to say that, um, go to the 365 Healthy by Choice website and register, and then we will send you the link, and we will also set up a group for for discussion purposes. Um, should the link go. That's very, very important so that we can connect immediately. And should you want to share or should you be requiring assistance on any level, we'll be there. We're all, we're all there. We're all in it together. <laughs> all right, everybody. Have an awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, is that what happened? Did you, did you leave, Annette? Okay, fine. Pleasure, 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 all of you. Just get into the spirit of all at all. Let the sun shine in, everybody. Where's that? Where's that video? I'm just gonna end with it. Play it again. Ciao.